Okay, I'm back with more packages. I got three very special packages today. They all came today, so that's pretty cool. This first one I've been waiting a long time for. Oh, there we go. Ooh. It is the new Nurture album by Porter Robinson. A special box set. Holy cow. That is <laughs> freaking big. <laughs> That's huge. Man. Um, I don't know how limited this was. Uh, they said it was limited, and then it sold out but then they got more back in stock so I don't know how many they made but pretty cool should be lots of goodies I got it. Turns out it's just a clamshell box and it was very, very snug. So it opens up like that. So let's see. <coughs> cool. Very nice. I'm gonna open that. I'm not sure what's in here. Porter Robinson Nurture. Let's open this. The album is very good, by the way. If you haven't heard it. And if you like techno. His uh, Worlds album is like one of the best albums ever, in my opinion. And I'm still hunting down the clear variant of that. some pictures. Oh, that's from the music video. Very nice. Cool. And what else? What is this? Does this come out? Maybe not. Oh gosh. It's kind of tucked underneath. What the heck? There's a bunch of seven inches. got damaged a little bit. You can feel the glue in there. Try to stick it down. Yeah. Hmm. Actually, there's glue all along here. Does it stay that way? I don't know. It's fine. Maybe it holds this in there. Anyway, so what are these? They look to be 
Seven inch singles. It's pretty interesting. I've never seen that before. Very cool. That's a lot of a lot of seven inches, wow. Pretty cool. They all fit back in. Maybe. Oh gosh. Okay, not without breaking it, I guess. I'll worry about that later. sized hole yeah that one doesn't want to go back in oh well it's fine oh yeah let's open up the vinyl so this should be clear which is the same color as the standard edition Glossy, kind of matte. Um, very pretty. Oh, yeah, it's a nice thank you note. And imagine how cool a wax mage would have been with this. That's super cool. Wax mages are always cool. Inserts booklets lyrics and then the vinyl. Oh, white. Did I say white or clear? I meant white. Solid white. Very cool. Very nice. Lots of stuff in the box set. Very cool. Very happy with that. It's very cool. Uh, next, let's do this guy. This guy from my buddy Jason from Canada. Electro Spaghetti on YouTube. Let's see what this is. It's an Enjoy the Rides reference box. That might give you a hint. So I did buy the second hand from Jason because I couldn't afford to get it at the time when it went on sale. That's the best way to do this. Packaged. <laughs> hey Arnold. Very nice. I have to keep this box. So I do have two variants of this. I have the uh the two rarest ones from the first pressing. I think the uh, Helga tricolor and the. Uh, I think it was like a yellow kind of splatter. I think. Maybe I'll throw out pictures. But this one is the one I didn't get. Let's see. Oh, it's so tight. Er. Ooh. Ooh, geez. 
There it is. Man, this is heavy. The Yoohoo filled record. Not Yoohoo, Yahoo, sorry. Yahoo. Wow. <laughs> Pretty cool. Wow. It's so interesting the way different um, companies do the liquid fill. Enjoy the Ride always has a huge, a huge separation from the edge and the liquid. Like the Friday the 13th was like right up against it. That was crazy. It's interesting to see, like, like it almost touches the label there too. It's very interesting. I'd love to see the whole process. And that's probably where they put it in. Right there. Cool. Is that air in there or just a different liquid? I think it might be a different color liquid. A clear liquid. Super cool. Poor Arnold got his face punched in. Uh oh, it's not. Oh, just some packing stuff. What's interesting with the Enjoy the Ride liquid filled records is that they come with this. Store vertically, no need to store flat, which is interesting because as I've said before, um, a couple of my vertical liquid ones get a line in them if you store them vertically. Um, what else does it say? Hmm. So this doesn't mention anything about refilling it. The uh, 28 days later one gives you, um, it doesn't give you directions on how to refill it, but it says if it needs refilling that you could send it back or something like that. This one didn't mention that. It's interesting. Okay, that's, that's pretty darn cool. Very, very happy with that. I love Hey Arnold. Hey Arnold's awesome. Here's the sleeve. Cool stuff. Thank you very much to Jason for selling me that. Sorry it took so long for me to pay it off. It wasn't super high on my uh, wish list, and um, other stuff kept popping up, so I never wanted to fully commit all at once, so I had to pay him off bit by bit. Okay. Last package from good old Cadabra Records. I am not sure what's in here. I know it's. Oops, sorry. I know it's the sub package, but I don't know if it includes a wax mage or not. Or two, because I have two on the way. Uh oh, I ruined it. Okay, there are two records, so it could be a regular and a wax mage. Let's see. It is! Oh man! Oh, man. oh I'm so excited! Two posters. So yeah, it's always hard to tell if your sub package is going to include the wax mage or not, and I can never keep track of tracking numbers. Okay. Super cool. Look at that art. Nice Karmazid art. Wonder who bought that. HP Lovecraft Beyond the Wall of Sleep. Wow, that's really cool too. Very nice. Okay, uh, let's do the sub variant first. Sorry, I keep bumping the camera. Ooh. 
Ooh, man, that feels even better. Yeah. It feels so nice. That's like really, it's like matte, but then the, the art has like a different texture to it too. That's super nice. Always the best quality. Side. I know what the sub variant color is. Ooh. Nice light blue. Cool, cool. Very nice. Kind of matches the wax mage sleeve. the really cool one. Let's see. Sleeve. 9 out of 25. I feel like they haven't done um, colored paper in a while. I feel like the last few have been black. I like the colored paper. I like the, uh, oh, I just did the, the Hound Wax Mage unboxing, that bright yellow paper. It's pretty cool. It really stands out. seen one picture Jonathan posted one picture of one side of his I don't know if they all look like that come on out ooh I guess maybe they do so you can see it's kind of clear blue and maybe a little green in there so on the edge, let's see. Ooh. <laughs> wow. So yeah, it does look pretty similar to the one he posted. Wow. On the other side. Nice. Wow. Very splattery. Super nice. So nice. That is awesome. Beyond the Wall of Steep. Super cool. Alright, I gotta take pictures. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. Super quick unboxing. So uh, I just got home and I found this on the ground next to uh, the staircase to my building. And it looks like someone knocked it off the railing and just left it there all day in the rain. So I'm gonna open it just to make sure it's okay. Should be fine since it's <clears throat> See, oh man. This is an insta B card. Cool. <clears throat> here it is. Oh, can you hear that? 
That sounds so weird. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, she can hear it. <laughs> That's so crazy. So, uh, yeah, this is the litter filled, kitty litter filled. Okay, feels pretty dry. I think it's fine. <clears throat> so let's see, what is this? The inserts, looks like. Cool, cool. Here's the sleeve. So it looks like no damage. I'm very glad. It's a nice sleeve cut. Alright, here we go. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this thing. <laughs> oh my god. So crazy. This is my first record filled with something other than liquid. That's so weird. What the heck? <laughs> it's just so bizarre. Ridiculous. Well, at least you don't have to worry about it drying up or anything like that. The liquids. Wow. That's crazy. Sorry, it's so close to the camera. I set it up really fast. Wow. Pretty cool, though. Hey guys, here's just a clip of me bidding on something from the last prop store auction, which is an original inked page and a couple color test pages from uh, Marvel's The Dark Crystal comic from 1982. It's a really, really cool piece because it's like everything I love in one, because it's Dark Crystal, it's uh, comics and original art, so it's like a super cool piece. But, um... I set my limit to, I think, 700 because I'm still saving money for buying some other art, so I didn't want to spend too much. So I didn't end up winning, so I'm still super bummed out. You can see me switching to, to uh, iCollector because I've been on there, because I didn't expect to be home while it was um, live, because uh, I headed to work right after this. And the auctioneer kind of stopped at 500 even though I had um, the highest bid at 700 at the moment so I was just double checking what I had on iCollector uh, yeah you can see there you see zoom in Thank you. No. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. That's it. 